Hi, my name is Ben Winchester. I am a rural sociologist with the University of Minnesota Extension, and I work uh, on a lot of topics about small towns and rural places. One specifically is basically an umbrella that I talk about rewriting the rural narrative. And essentially my premise here is that the narrative we use to, to describe our small towns and our rural communities is inherently negative. Um, and it, it's probably negative for a good reason. You know, we have gone through very dramatic changes in our rural communities from the mechanization of agriculture to, you know, restructuring of Main Street where we lose a lot of stores and then we introduce maybe big box retailers and it kills off certain retail categories and we've got school consolidations and I think, you know, overwhelmingly the narrative being written about us is fairly negative. And so my work really tries to document all these great trends that are happening essentially under the radar to show that you know people are still choosing to move to rural communities. They're uh, thriving there. They're creating nonprofit groups. They're buying and starting businesses. The, some are working from home. And that we've really got this um, new rural revival going on and has been going on essentially since the 70s, but it's virtually unknown. So it is my mission in life to ensure that everybody in this country will know that rural areas are not dying. Hi everybody, my name is Liz Brownlee and I'm a farmer and the president of the Hoosier Young Farmers Coalition and um, I got to be at the Rewriting the Rural Narrative um, conference today um, in part because, you know, I'm, I'm a boomerang so I went out into the world, I uh, grew up in a small town, went out into the world to learn and brought those skills back to my small town of Crothersville, Indiana. Uh, my husband and I have a farm there, we came back to my family's land and we raise livestock and sell meat locally at farmers markets and to chefs. Um, and to our CSA members, um, and it's always on my mind, you know, what are the stories we're telling and um, about our rural spaces, and, and can we make people want to come back to these rural spaces, and it was so uplifting today, uh, you know, one of my takeaways was that there's a lot of data that shows our rural spaces aren't dying, they're, um, they're I don't know what's the right word, they're growing, they're thriving, um, the, the reality is people want to be in rural spaces, um, and the reality is we need a greater diversity of people in our rural spaces, and so how do we um, get everything in one place and bring all, all sorts of folks in on the conversation is the question. Um, let's see, another takeaway was just that um, there are lots of people who are just in that room, right? Community foundations and nonprofits and um, students and professors and uh, small businesses that want to see our rural communities thrive. Um, that's very uplifting. Right, I, I think it's important to flip the script because we've got to be able to talk positively about ourselves. Uh, over the next 25 years, uh, roughly three quarters of all our rural homeowners are going to turn over uh, in the sense of actually dying or passing away, right? So uh, the question then, it begs the question of how welcoming is our town? Like why would anybody want to move to small towns today when they believe that all the small towns are already dead or dying, right? So essentially when we talk about our, our rural community today, we've got to talk positively. There are good things happening. We've got to let people know that we can be welcoming homes for them in the future.